Okay, this is a double slit question. We have a monochromatic light of wavelength lambda incident on two narrow slits S1 and S2, hence double slit interference from the superposition chapter, a small distance apart. Great, not given the distance. A series of bright and dark fringes, which is the interference pattern, are observed on the screen a long, long distance, so pretty far away from the slits. The end, hi, dark fringe. See, dark is bold, so this is, this is important information. From the central bright fringe is observed at point P. Which equation is correct for all positive values of N? Alright, so I think first thing we need to do is we need to know that there is destructive interference because you have a dark fringe. So dark. So destructive interference. And you need to think a little bit about what are the conditions for destructive interference. Let me think. The wave should meet out of phase so that the maximum will meet the minimum, minimum will meet the maximum, and then they all cancel out. So the conditions here that is easy to recall is the phase angle will be 180 or pi. Okay, if they are odd pi's, then they will meet slightly out of phase. If they are even pi's, they will meet in phase. Then it will be constructive interference. So that will be pi, all the odd multiples of pi. So if I want to talk about n, because they actually want the nth general equation. I'm just going to move this a bit here. Hmm, these are all odd numbers, you see. So 1, 3, 5, 7 pi. So I guess the odd value for this will be something like 2n plus 1 pi, where n is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lah. Okay, can also be 2n minus 1. How do you know? Ah? Well, either you think from your mathematics uh, lessons about uh, or writing all these terms, or you could just substitute values of n. In this case, for this to work, your n must be 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. And for this case to work, your n is 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. We can compare and see which one works or which option is available. But you can look at your answers, right? Your answers are all in terms of lambda, okay? Because what we have here, S2P minus S1P, is part difference, okay? So your S2P minus S1P is part difference, meaning when the wave reaches point P, S1 will not travel the same distance as S2. So this is part difference. I'm going to call it delta L. So the conditions for, for destructive interference is that your delta L must be 2 pi is one complete cycle, which is lambda, meaning pi is lambda over 2. 3 pi is 3 lambda over 2, 5 pi is 5 lambda over 2, and dot 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 lah. Okay, because if you think of a wave, nah like that, here to here is 2 pi, which is equal to lambda. So if you want odd pi's here to here, this will be lambda over 2. Okay, so yeah, just divide everybody by 2, which means this expression will be 2n plus 1 over 2 bracket because this is your okay in case you are struggling with this kind of expressions now all of these are odd numbers you see your 135 so I'm going to copy this one here 2n plus 1 okay lambda over 2 because all these odd numbers 1 3 5 7 can be expressed as 2n plus 1 Okay, or if we take different sets of values of n, it can be 2n minus 1 times lambda over 2. Okay, so let us uh, simplify a bit, okay, to fit their expression. So let me bring this over here a bit. Your part difference, which is your S2P, the longer the wave that travels a further distance, minus S1P has to be 2n plus 1 lambda over 2 or 2n minus 1 lambda over 2 lah. depends on where you start your value of n. So in this case, I can open up the bracket, right? Multiply in. Uh, whether I need to do it or not, I need to check. Lo. Oh, I don't need to, but there's no over 2 for lambda. So I'm going to push the lambda in. 
Okay, so when I push that lambda in, I will notice that this one will be n plus half lambda. And the other option will be 2n plus, sorry, 2n minus 1 lambda over 2. Then this will be n minus half lambda. Oh no, which one to choose? Because both options are available, right? So you see here, it says all positive values of n. Okay, so think about this. In this case, for this expression to work, your n must be 0 for the first half lambda, 1 for 3 lambda over 2, because it's 1.5, ma. so 1 plus half is 1.5, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. Whereas for this one to work, your n will be 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. So positive values of n, which case will we take? This one. These are all positive values. Zero is not a positive. I mean, it's also not a negative value. Well, oh, miss, this one feels like a. It doesn't feel like a physics question anymore. It feels a lot like a, like a maths question where they're asking you to write common values and also to substitute. Well, that's true lah. That is one of it. Okay, so this is the, uh, long way or the more thorough and detailed way to actually find your n because all these are integers or rather positive values. Whereas this zero, not positive. Zero is not positive. So the answer would be C. Okay. You could be asking yourself, can I put numbers inside to test? Ah? Can ah? you test one by one? No. All right. So another way, if let's say you don't want to go through the process of uh, finding the general expression in terms of n using summation format like this, then that would be to substitute values of n, positive integers inside, to check and see which one will fulfill the condition for interference. So for example, if let's say I look at option A, so I'm just going to write here, for option A, you are talking about n lambda over 2. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a table la, so that our life is easier. So my n is 1, I think I checked 3 values, la, 2 and 3. Okay, just to give us an idea of the progression. So when n is equal to 1 lambda over 2, yes, this is good, this is destructive. But when n is equal to 2, this is 2 lambda over 2, which is 1 lambda. So this is already constructive and this does not obey the condition. Okay, so A is wrong. Let's check for B. For B, right, you would notice that um, you're talking about n lambda. So if we want n lambda already, the first one is a violation already because it's 1 lambda. So this is also out. Okay, remember we need half lambdas. Half, 1 and a half, 5, 2 and a half, so on and so forth, so that they meet out of phase. Okay, go and refer to the condition for constructive and destructive interference. Okay, so this is out. So you can test for C. So for C is n minus half lambda. So when n is equal to 1, 1 minus half is lambda over 2. So far so good. 2 minus half is 1 and a half or 3 lambda over 2. 3 minus half is 5 lambda over 2. Does that make sense? Because uh, it's 3 minus half, so it's 2 and a half. Uh, 5 lambda over 2. All right. What about option D? So this one is possible. So far, so good. This is n plus half lambda. So if you put n equal to 1, you will get 1 plus half, which is 3 lambda over 2. 5 lambda over 2. 2 plus half is 2.5. 3 plus half is 3.5. 7 lambda over 2. So in this case, it kind of works. But the problem here is something is missing. Lambda over 2 is missing. So this one also cannot. So your only option left is C. Lo. So what you can do is you can test one by one this way. Or generally, it's more elegant or better for your brain or to practice your maths to come up with a general form. Okay, so depending on your mathematics skills. Alright, that's it for the question. If you need help, refer to our videos to find what are the conditions for constructive and destructive interference. There are many drawings there. 
All right, I'll see you in the next one.